Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. DoorDash drivers and consumers in New York City is about to have their world turned upside down because of a new update that just happened in New York. You want to make sure you stay tuned for this whole video, especially if you're in New York City, because these things are going to be major changes happening on the platform. An article that just came out straight from DoorDash, and I'm going to give you my thoughts and opinions on it afterwards. But this is big news, guys. You want to make sure you stay all the way to the end of this video because this is going to have a big impact on not only the dashers, but the customers and the merchants, too. I want to let you know, look, it's some shocking stuff that's going on in this video. And keep in mind, this is only for New York City for right now. Let's get right into it. Changes will allow us to better balance the impact of bad policies in New York City for everyone who uses the platform and continue providing the best possible experience. Wow. I must say, wow. As we repeatedly made clear, they got like a little link here you can click. I'm gonna go ahead and click it. It's going back to an article they posted a couple months ago saying why we are filing a lawsuit in NYC and the earnings standards. And it's basically them going against New York City saying they don't wanna pay a minimum pay rate of $29 and this is why. And this is what led us up to this point. So it goes on to say, as we repeatedly made clear in recent months, the ill-conceived <laughs> extreme minimum pay rate for food delivery workers, hold on. They saying right here that it's ill-conceived and they think it's an extreme minimum pay. And it wouldn't even be like this if DoorDash would just do the right thing as far as dashers in different areas, what's a good pay rate, depending on cost of living. If they was taking things right and doing things the right way, they wouldn't be saying things like the ill-conceived extreme minimum pay rate. Because this is what we have come to because dashers ain't making no money in New York and y'all sitting up there getting over. So this is the type of things that we have to see in order to protect dashers. So they say... The extreme minimum pay rate in New York will have significant consequences. Yeah, that's right. They saying, DoorDash is saying the extreme minimum pay rate will have significant consequences for everyone who uses the platform. Dashers, consumers, and merchants. Unfortunately, these regulations will significantly increase the cost of facilitating delivery and force us to make a number of operational changes, which is why we are providing an update on what local consumers and dashers will be seeing beginning today. So they, they flat out letting you know right there, we gonna be charging these customers more. We straight up, because look, what, wherever y'all thought this money was coming from, no, it's not coming out of our pockets. We still trying to make our profits. We about to start charging these customers more. So that's gonna have an impact on how the customers feel when you get there and drop off that order. And it's also gonna have an impact on how many orders you see and if you see any tips on those orders. Implementing minimum pay requirements. Dashers who deliver in New York City will now earn at least $29.93 per active hour. Nearly twice New York City's minimum $15 minimum wage. Now look, I know $29 sounds great. That's almost 30 bucks an hour. Active hour. I know a lot of guys might not, a lot of folks might not understand the difference between an hour and an active hour, but don't just, just, just hang with me. We're going to get into that a little bit later. Just know that this is very important. Active hour. It goes on to say, uh, the, this rate excludes tips and it's just the minimum. So Dasher still have the opportunity to earn more than the minimum, which is $29.93 per active hour. Dasher's earnings will be reviewed weekly to see if their DoorDash pay meets the earnings minimum. And any Dashers who earn below the minimum required pay will receive an adjustment pay. All right, so bear with me on this next one because this is probably the most important. Moving tipping to after checkout in preparation for increased fees. These new regulations will force us to raise fees for orders in New York City starting today in order to better balance the impact of these new costs. DoorDash has been spending a lot of money trying to fight this. Millions in legal fees. They're probably going to spend a whole bunch of more money in fees. So they just letting you know, look, we are gonna be better balancing the impact of these new costs. When they say they better balancing it, what that means is they passing these new costs off to the consumer. Now I'm gonna let you know how I feel about that, but let's read on. This change comes as a recommendation 
by the New York City Department of Consumer and Worker Protection. They recommended to DoorDash that since it's going to be a higher cost on the customer, maybe they should move that tipping screen to after the checkout. This was the recommendation from the New York Department of Consumer and Worker Protection. Look, and has been done to help ensure our platform remains affordable for all New Yorkers. They trying to say that they want, they doing this to make sure the platform remains affordable, but they straight up raising the cost of this new pay, minimum pay rate and they pushing it right to the customers. That's, that literally makes no sense. However, we know tips are still an important way for consumers to show dashers their appreciation so consumers will still be able to tip after checkout and for up to 30 days after they order. Ain't nobody in their right mind going into their DoorDash app and saying, damn, that Chick-fil-A that I ordered three weeks ago, that was a good dasher. Let me go ahead and throw him a couple of dollars. Nobody's doing that. This is a nice gesture, but be real with yourself. If people order in DoorDash and they doing it frequently, they not going back and tipping the person from three weeks ago after y'all didn't raise the prices. This makes no sense, DoorDash, so stop playing with us. Pausing our Dasher Priority Program. So with the changes required by New York City and the impact it will have on our system, the DoorDash system, we are pausing our Priority Access Program, which gives Dashers who have high ratings, priority on high paying offers. Since Dashers will earn a guaranteed minimum rate, we have no reason to care about them at all. Now I'm just playing, they didn't say that last part. Since Dashers will be earning a guaranteed minimum rate, the benefits offered by this program will not apply in New York City. So there will be no more diamond program. You will see no more diamond orders. If you possibly had the two rewards program or you were seeing platinum and gold, there will be no more of that. Because why? DoorDash has no reason to incentivize you when you just got incentivized to make $30 in the active hour. You pick up two orders, you get you you hold them to, for an hour, and you drop them off, you're making 30 bucks. So DoorDash no longer needs to incentivize you with Dasher Rewards programs, and they're taking it right away. Since Dashers now have a guaranteed minimum rate, the benefits offered by this program will not apply. The top Dasher program will still be available, though. And DoorDash is full of shit. We know that these are significant changes for the way Dashers will use the platform, and we always seek feedback from them on the important topics like app functionality, new features, and public policy. We, we want the feedback, but we don't give a damn. That's what they're saying. We sent early communications to some Dashers, making them aware of the changes that would be coming to the platform and provided an opportunity to offer feedback. Not that we care about your feedback. We just want to give you the opportunity to place that feedback so that we could most effectively implement these changes. Meaning, how can we most effectively charge these customers more so we can still make our money and, and, and make y'all happy. Basically, that's, this is basically what they saying, guys. We anticipate needing to make other operational changes in response to these new regulations that will further impact experiences of consumers, dashers, and merchants on DoorDash in New York City. In the meantime, we continue to engage with policymakers and focus on what matters most, continuing to serve across the New York City. So in DoorDash's own words, the only thing, the, the thing that's most important to them is continuing to serve communities across New York. Now, when they say serve communities, I think they just mean get them orders out because they don't really care about the dashers. They doing everything in their power to either block this legislation, make sure the money don't come out of their pockets, or flat out, they gonna be limiting the amount of dashers that's able to log on and accept these orders. Because what you gotta realize is, they not finna lose money on this deal to keep money in they shareholders' pockets. So you make sure you be careful when you out there in New York doing them deliveries. I want to I want to watch this closely and see how things pan out. But as far as me go, I'm not one for legislation. I'm really not. But when it comes to things like this, a lot of times we find that legislation is the thing that helps us in the end because these companies will spend millions of dollars fighting. Good. And what do we do as dashers when you can't make that money? Well, you end up having to go to your lawmakers and get some get some things implemented and it may not work for everybody. Now, I'm not gonna sit up here and say that I'm against this or I'm for this, but I just wanna give you guys updates on what's going on on this app. And I know it's a lot of dashers out there in New York who watch this channel. So you gotta make sure you stay informed. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Is DoorDash a piece of shit company that will do everything in their power to 
not take care of they, you know, bottom line, I, I, I'm not gonna say employees, they bottom line independent contractors, or are they just, you know, trying to service that New York community the best they can while still making a profit? I don't know the answer. Let me know what you think. And most of the dashers out in New York, they're gonna be on scooters, bikes, and they're gonna be walking, okay? This is gonna be a big win for the dashers out of New York because if you on active time, so from the time you accept an order, let me go ahead and bag up a little bit. For everybody who don't know, active time and dash time. From the time you accept an order, hit the accept the button on your phone. From the time you drop it off and hit confirm delivery. That's your time for active time. And for a lot of folks that's doing bike dashing, scooter dashing, walking orders to the customers. If, you, if you're if using a car in New York City and doing DoorDash, you are, you are OG. Because from my understanding, most of the folks out there is using one of these other types of delivery vehicles, either a bike, a scooter, or them two feet that you had got when you was born. So, no, no, no matter how you slice it, DoorDash is mad as hell, and they should be. Anytime a business has to pay money or lose money, they are gonna be mad. But I don't give a damn about DoorDash. I give a damn about y'all. All my New York people, that's a win for y'all. If you out there and you working in New York, that's a win. Now, DoorDash did say, stay tuned, because there's gonna be some more operational changes coming down the pipeline soon. What are operational changes? Do you know what that means? Don't worry, because I got you. Whenever something like this happens and a company is forced to come out of money, they're gonna reduce their they workforce. So they, you, it may be a situation where DoorDash begins to limit the amount of dashers that are allowed on the road. Earn by time, earn by order, it don't matter. Cause you already getting paid by time no matter what. We've already seen this on Grubhub and on Uber. They would tell you, hey, we don't need, it's, a, it's, it's, it's too many people out here right now. It's not busy enough for you. Try back at a later time. We've already seen that on other food delivery platforms. Mark my words, this will be coming to the DoorDash platform. If they have to pay and they have to charge their customers more to cover the, some of the cost of that pay, they finna be doing everything in their power to make sure that they paying as least as possible. And one of the things they gonna be doing is probably forcing dashers to accept every single order. Okay, you might be forced to accept every single order since you're getting paid $30 no matter what active time. You know, and it, it may be a situation where, hey, we don't need as many dashers on the road because we already got X amount of dashers out here getting a guaranteed pay and they gonna take whatever, they have no choice if they wanna be active on the platform. If you wanna be able to accept and deliver these orders, you don't have to worry about accepting declining. All you gotta do is be ready to be logged on and we gonna send you the order. And if you ain't, if you don't make it to the, 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 the merchant on time, we gonna give you a violation. It's gonna be these types of things we start seeing coming down the pipeline. So be warned for that, but don't let that deter you. This is a win for all drivers out of New York. Cause like I said, most folks in New York and in LA, in the places where they implementing these pay minimums, they using scooters and bikes and walking with their feet. And DoorDash knows this. It's a lot of immigrants up, up in New York, you know, using food delivery. They may not have legal documentation to be in the country, so they gotta do what they gotta do to make this money. And DoorDash been taking advantage of them like a mug. So it's time that DoorDash got a look, you know, a look kicking the ass, to be honest with you. Hey, you about to pay that money and you about to have to figure it out. But it still may be some detriment to some folks in New York. So be aware, they may be limiting the amount of dashers able to be online. They may be doing other things. But just know that you will still be able to make your money out there and keep your ear to the street so you know what's going on in your community. As always, look, I'm your boy, FDA, Dash and Trader. The best ever, the fastest in the whole world. I catch you in the next.